All right, so I'm in the garage. It is February 5th, 2024. This is the one year and two month, pretty much two month mark of the build process. The fuselage is on so horses on its side, um, just so that I can get to um, bits and pieces for varnishing. And I'll flip it back over to varnish the other bits and pieces on the inside. Um, over here, center wing section is going together and okay for you sharp individuals that caught this these uh strut brackets and and spar mounting brackets are in backwards and upside down um one because my positioning blocks are in the way and uh Two, it's it's just for spacing, and uh, you know, get the proper spacing for the compression struts. Um, the last of the 53rd rib is on the table here, right here, being being glued. So that milestone is over with. I mean, this here is is the old wing on top of the fuselage. It's just here because as soon as as soon as that is glued together, um, whole table going to be cleared off. I'm going to put the old wing on. This is the top right. That'll go on the table. Put some mounting blocks down on the table. Remove that. Get rid of it, and get some regular new spars on the table and start sliding on ribs and doing all that assembly part for at least one of the four wings and now i want to kind of show you guys let me find one of them here if you can see this if it stays focused focus it's not focusing okay doesn't want to focus Okay, you can't quite see that one. And let me move over to this one. As I, as I rock the trailing edge of this rib, that corner block, and you can definitely see it on this corner block. It's not even, the glue is, is separated. And I found that on Maybe a third of these ribs out of focus again. Come on, there we go. About a third of the ribs, the uh, corner blocks aren't even glued on anymore. The Georgia heat and humidity and this, whatever it's called, uh, formaldehyde resnicor. Uh, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Uh, anyway, 40 some odd year old glue. This thing was built originally in 1972 through 78. And I found all kinds of areas on the old. This is obviously a new fuselage. Going to build new wings, all new wooden structure. But there was so much on the old fuselage and on the old wings that were just like, I can just pick the piece right off the framework. It wasn't even glued on. Um, I was on my uh, little creeper underneath the old fuselage, and I grabbed this diagonal on the old fuselage. And uh, this end here was completely loose. It wasn't even glued in. Well, it was glued, but glue separated after years and years. And so it's like the plane might have been only held together by 25% of, of glue. So scary, scary, scary stuff. Um, just kind of like a precaution for, you know, this is, this is exactly why after I got the plane back in the air, you know, as far as new carburetor, new wires and plugs and, and whatever, 
I started like finding more and more and more wrong with the old fuselage that I just could not see myself risking my life anymore than what I already did, you know, four hours in the air. So this is where I'm at. Uh, the wings are beginning. I mean, like I've already started beginning the ribs, uh, ribs and some spar work, but the wings are going to be going together. As soon as that is glued up the center wing section, then, um, transfer that to the table, put in some mounting blocks and, and get everything, uh, kind of traced out on the table and then remove the old wing, start building the new wings. All right. Thanks for watching.